Hello and welcome back to Conspiracy Cats. Now, dealing with flat earth nonsense on a, on a weekly basis is really getting quite tiring and I just want a break this weekend. So Alexa, can you play me something a little bit classy, please? Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Nice, Shakespeare. Thou art more lovely and more temperate. That was great. Have you got anything else? Gravity isn't a force. It doesn't exist. Space comma. Weight exist without gravity. Oh, for flipping heck. So today we're going to take a look at five of the best Flat Earth videos that have appeared in my feed this week. I'm going to start by giving a piece of evidence for the globe Earth, and then we're going to see how that compares to the quality of evidence given by the Flat Earth video. Starting with this, my first piece of evidence for the globe Earth is the fact that boats go over the horizon and vanish bottom up, showing obvious curvature. So let's see the quality of evidence brought forward by our first flat earther. This guy is called Execrate200. Now he doesn't speak in his videos, so I may have added a little bit of narration. Okay, so I'm going to start off by filming my compass, but I'm going to film it for just a little bit too long till it becomes awkward. Uh, but watch how it's not going anywhere. Gravity debunked. Anyway, I'm still filming it. I told you I'd film it for a little bit too long. Um, what should I do now? All oh, right, yeah, here we go. I'm going to film... The moon! There it is. I just wanted to make sure it was still there, but that's not important. My compass is. Boom! Back to the compass. It's still not moved. Gravity debunked. But watch this. Bam! I can move it with my hand. Yeah, I'm back again. Globe Earth debunked. Thank you, Xcrate 200. That really made me think. Now, my next piece of evidence is the fact that we can accurately predict which stars in the sky are circumpolar. If we know uh, our latitude and we know the declination of the star, if the declination of the star is greater than 90 minus our latitude, then it will be circumpolar. Now, this only works on a spherical Earth. There's no other shape that this will work on. So, let's see what Flat Earther number two has to say about that. This is by a guy called Maladin Zagorak. And as you can see by the picture here, this is going to be an incredibly interesting 30 seconds in which he proves that the Earth is flat. Now, Maladin Zagorak doesn't actually speak on his videos, so I may have added a little bit of narration. Well, this beer is not mine. It's my friend Johan's and he's gone to the toilet. So as a joke, I'm going to pour it on the table. Yeah, have that, Johan. Um, oh, no, I probably shouldn't do that. He might get upset. But he slept with my girlfriend. Screw him. I'm going to pour it on the table and... Oh, but I might have to buy him another one. But no, he took my last packet of Maltesers, so I'm going to pour it on the table. And, uh, uh-oh, Johan's coming back. He's, he's looking at me. I'm just holding your beer for you, mate, Johan. Don't worry. I'm, I was just going to pass it to you. Um, Globe Earth debunked. The quality of the Flat Earth videos this week is really mind-blowing. Now, my third piece of evidence for the heliocentric model is the fact that we can accurately predict when the International Space Station will actually pass overhead, and we can film it, and we can watch it. In fact, Red Retric has a video on his channel, which I've linked in the description, which actually shows him filming the International Space Station as it transits the moon. So, I wonder what our Flat Earth video number three will have to say about that. Now, this video is from a channel actually called Flat Earth, but unfortunately, the guy behind the Flat Earth channel doesn't actually speak over his videos. So I may have narrated a little bit over the top. Well, this one's definite proof that the moon isn't real. Look, I filmed the moon two times last week, and when I zoom away from it, it turns into something that looks like a cliff on the top one. So the... F oh, hang on. Oh, I see what I did. Outstanding. Now, you may be forgiven for thinking I'm taking these videos and I'm clipping them down to make them look stupid, but I promise you I'm not. I've linked them all in the description so you can see. Anyway, my globe evidence number four is this. So this is a gyro compass and a gyro compass is a type of compass which is used on ships successfully to navigate all over the world. Now the, the flat earth killer part of a gyro compass is the fact that it's not a magnetic compass, it actually uses the spin of the earth. So given that this technology is so widely available and so reliable, I wonder how our next flat earther, a guy called Flat Earth Indonesia, will respond to this point. Now, Flat Earth Indonesia doesn't actually speak in his videos. So I may have narrated a little bit over the top. Hello, you're just joining me as I've fallen out with my bottle of water, my pen and my ping pong ball. They were all really naughty to me before. So I've put them on the naughty step and I've told them they're not allowed to speak for 20 minutes. Look how good they're being now. They're not saying a thing. Anyway, this video went on for ages and all I did was just film this. I didn't even say a word. Globe Earth debunked. Amazing. The quality of content and the strength of the arguments coming from the Flat Earth community this week is absolutely mind-blowing. Anyway, let's go to my globe proof number five, and it's this. 
Now I have mentioned this before, so I'll be brief, but essentially when there's an earthquake, we have seismic waves which travel through the planet. Uh, two of these waves are called P waves and S waves, and they give us a very particular distribution across the planet. Now the thing is, it doesn't matter where the epicenter of that earthquake is, we get exactly the same distribution of the P waves and S waves in relation to the epicenter. That never changes, and that is only possible on a spherical planet. In fact, seismic waves are such a flat earth killer that I've said many, many times I will delete my entire channel if somebody can present to me a shape of the earth which will allow this to happen that isn't a globe. Are you going to take me up on that, mate? Oh yes, I know the earth is flat. I can see the edge from up here. Fantastic. Anyway, if that wasn't a big enough clue, I wonder who our final flat earth video is from. Hello, flat earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. Yes, it's from our old friend Gigantor, aka Phuket Word. Now, Phuket Word does speak in his videos, so unfortunately I've not been able to narrate this one. Oh, excellent, it is me. Is this one of my good videos? You don't have any good videos. Anyway, check out the latest Phuket Word video to appear in my feed, where it appears he's taken to urinating in people's drinks to show that gravity doesn't exist. Now, if you listen to this clip all the way through, although he acknowledges that we can form some sort of density gradient. The cognitive dissidence when talking about up and down is mind boggling. Okay, so the difference in temperature of the water makes a difference. You've got the cold water on the bottom, the warm water above it, and the less dense oil above that. All these things are to do with relative density and of course the question that will be asked by people wishing to defend the globe is what makes up and down in the first place well frankly nobody really knows yeah it's a complete mystery Anyway, if you want something a little bit more meaty to get your teeth into, check out the link in the description to my latest Baldy Cats video, where I genuinely struggled with uh, debunking a video that was presented to me, and I had to call on a little bit of help. But, for now, we're going to revisit Shed Rage High, and then have a look at some chat box travels. Now, if you don't know what Shed Rage High is, Shed Rage High is a high school where all of the teachers are actual flat earthers or energy healers. And today, they've gone to Play School Live to see if they can learn how to count to five. It's going to be a challenge. I wonder if they'll manage it. Ladies and gentlemen, the staff of Shed Rage High visit Play School. Boing, 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 boing. What is going on? Who should come along then? I don't know. The Spoon Sisters. Oh, oh. Hello, hello. Hello. Mash, 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 mash. <laughs> so we'll count to five and you can count with her. We'll see if the lid comes back. Ready? One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. 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 I don't understand. Four. Fuck you. And that is the end of the story. Maybe tomorrow I wanna settle down. So it seems this week the Flat Earth community have been trying to challenge me by writing me messages with no punctuation and seeing if I can read them from start to finish without taking a breath. Let's start with the easy one. What a moron, get a life idiot, the earth is flat. Easy. Easy peasy. Yeah, wasn't a challenge. Unlike this one. How could pendulums work at all if the spinning of the earth affects them? They would be constantly moving in the same direction. Get a brain and flat earth society is well known as controlled opposition to the flat earth researchers. They only put out half truths going to international... Fa oh no. Oh, bollocks. That would hard work. Anyway, our friend Gigantor is back with a comment. But he insists on reading this one himself. Oh, uh -huh, good one. If they had something, they'd be showing us all those magnificent views of space, eclipses, planets, the bloody moon... Real-time stuff. Susan Boyle's back. Hello, my name is Susan Boyle, and I'm very possibly drunk while I'm writing this. Ready? Teacher of five-year kids. One failed rock god. Space comma plus one failed rock god equals two failed musician and you. Doesn't make any sense, does it? But it appears that not everyone likes me as much as Susan Boyle does. This guy here thinks I'm embarrassing anybody that can use Movie Maker. 
Hello, my name is Rob Bryan. Anyway, I just bobbed by to ask you, who cut your hair? Oh no, you ain't got none to cut. <laughs> your video is embarrassing to anyone who can cut footage to bits. You've embarrassed yourself, you've embarrassed the BBC, you've embarrassed Hollywood. It's ridiculous. Now, if you haven't seen last week's video, I took on Nathan Oakley and all the other members of YouTube's Flat Earth debate team. This guy didn't seem to like it. Hello, my name's Ronald McDonald. Anyway, I've just come to say, you jealous flapper, Nathan and his team are ninjas, actual ninjas, and jealousy gets you no. Where are you moron? Uh, anyway, you make yourself look like a jealous dick. Ba ha 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 ha. What a dick. Still, it's not all bad. The competition is really stepping up for the winner of the best mispronunciation of the term space comma. Space common. Space collar. Spain comment. And I now know which chords I have to use in my next song. If you want to keep your subscribers happy, you will play these chords. Eb, the gamma seven, b -b -b. That will keep them happy. Now I'm going to leave you now with a space comma ridden mess of a message from our friend Susan Boyle. Uh, and I'll be back in a few days. Please, if you've been watching this far, check out the link in the description below for the third Conspiracy Cats channel. And that will explain what that is all about uh, down there. I'll not waste time in this video. Thank you for watching this far. And um, I shall see you soon. Hello again, it's me, Susan Boyle. Now, where was I? Um, dreaming of the hit record the Count never had. Then dreaming that his little kid can spell better than me. Space comma. Like I give a fook. Spelt wrong. Ironic. Space comma. What a waste of space this asshole is teaching your children that arrogance is a virtue. Space comma. It's not hard to be a clever bloke in the wasteland of northern England, but it's easy to be a lot more clever than you. Yeah. Cats, cats, conspiracy cats. No one quite like him to flatten the flats. So come feel the vibe, like and subscribe, and take off your hats to